So, what's this? Something new. This is a 1963 United Sparky Puck Bowler. Something uh, a little different. Basically, it's a giant pinball machine. Same kind of mechanics to it. Uh, a little different feel, a little different flavor. So, the only picture I've been able to find of this thing was on pin, pinrepair.com and it showed that this is natural wood, not white, and this is painted on. I believe it's latex. I read somewhere on the internet the way you tell is you take alcohol and you put it on a rag and you rub it, and if it comes off, it's latex, and if it doesn't come off, it may be enamel. And I had some luck getting some off, so I'm going to try some xylene and see if uh, which is like the generic of goof off to see if I can get this off without a lot of work. We really wasn't wanting to do another deal with another repaint. The inserts are sunken, but I've had plenty of practice on pinball machines resetting these, so I'll do that fairly soon. The switches are pretty dirty, dirty and or rusty, but I flip it over upside down, take a look at it, see if uh, maybe I can take each one out and sand them down and clean them. See this orange here? That's the original inside color, so whoever went crazy with the latex paint did the inside around the pin shroud, and then they did the rails, and then the back cabinet, they did the rails as well. So I'm going to start with this one, see if I can get it back to original wood. I might have to stain and polyurethane it or something, I don't know, but we'll see. Here are the pins before I clean them. I don't know if this is mildew or dirt, but I'll have to take each of these pins off and give them a good hard cleaning. Try to wipe down the wood on the um, on the inside, maybe with alcohol or something, and then check all the mechanisms on the back. I'll show those later. Here's the underside of the switches for the pins, and you can see uh, a couple clips here. There's supposed to be a tray that fits underneath there for gathering the wax so it doesn't spill all over the floor. It's missing. I don't know if this will show up on the camera. This is after. Clip. This is before cleaning. Uh, it was really disgusting. Um, kind of hard to see in this light. A lot better though. So here's the railing. I've got this thing up on its side. And you can see this little strip right here. That's the natural finish of the wood. So I'm going to see if I can replicate that, hopefully by stripping off the rest. I'm going to take the legs off. This must be the power switch in the back of the coin box. We'll start on this surface here. You can see right there is a little bit of the original orange coming through. They painted this orange. I'll take this little latch off and then I'll try some of the remover here. Let it follow the instructions, see if it takes it off or not. All right, so here's the back piece of wood and it's sturdy. Obviously it has to be for that puck to be hammering it. And you can see, I think it's okay. It's It's been pulled out from this metal plate. I don't know if you can see in here, there's a little metal plate. So I'll jam it, get it back in there so it's not like loose. But the rubber's in good shape, that's what I was worried about, was that I didn't have to try to find replacement rubber. So I'll just kind of wipe this down and put it back on. As far as how it connected, eh, it's hard to see. There are four screws on each side, and then there were four screws in the bottom, and then four screws on the back that went into this wood. So it was really in there tight. So here are the results of the goof off. Applied goof off here, didn't here. All I did is clean it basically and remove the orange paint, which is what I wanted to try to keep. So goof off, fail here. This must be enamel paint. So let's go to what I'm going to do next. I'm going to try this citrus strip stripping gel, which is safe. Uh, no fumes. I can use it indoors. You can see I've applied it to about the foot, foot and a half of the machine. Don't know if I put it on heavy enough or not, but I'll let that sit for a while and then come out and see if it made any difference. Tried to put some heavier, some lighter to see if it made a difference. Well, check it out. You see where I put the citrus strip on, peeled it right up. I'm going to try scraping it off with some plastic, see what's underneath there. And so there you can see after scraping, it's that beautiful natural wood. I don't know why anybody covered it up. What I don't understand is this black and these lines. I don't know if that's original or if somebody painted black in there. So I'm going to run the stripper down the entire length of this thing. Yeah, before I put that stripper on, I'm taking off this rubber side strip. I'm hoping I can save it. 
but it's stapled on. I'm just pulling the staples out with pliers, hoping I can reuse this. And then you can see underneath, it's just going to need a big cleaning. I'm probably going to, um, I don't know, maybe use a cord cutter on that, see how it looks, and then just strip this white to get it back to natural look. All right, so here's after it sat for a little longer than an hour this time. You can see the horizontal surfaces work great. I think that's going to scrape right off. I tried the vertical surfaces and I had mixed results, but I'm going to be rotating this thing around. So even though it didn't work everywhere on the vertical surfaces, I'll, they will be horizontal in a minute, yeah, briefly. So I'm going to try to wipe this off and then I'm probably going to try wiping it down with isopropyl alcohol to see what it does to that wood to try to get any remaining gel off of the wood so it stops reacting or preventing any kind of, uh, if I decide to put a finish on it. Thought I'd show how easily this comes off. Comes right off. I think I'm going to have to hit another coat of it because it's kind of in the grain here a little bit. Um, but I think I can just dab it on where I've got issues if it doesn't scrape off. Comes off really nicely though. And it, no fumes, you can use it inside. This is the stuff. Citrus strip. That's what you want to use. Okay, so while the uh, stripper's doing its thing, it's I'm going to let it sit for an hour or so. I've got the rubber trim that goes along the sides to cushion the walls from the puck. I'm going to try to save it with cleaning. I'm going to put it in this old pot and then I'm just going to use straight crud cutter to fill this till it covers this and then I'm going to let it soak and then I'll check it occasionally to see how that's working. Hey, check this out. An actual pleasant surprise for a change. It did not take the orange off. It only took off the white so I won't have to repaint the orange. I usually don't have good news with cabinets, so that's nice. All right, I finally found a good use for Goof Off. It advertises that it'll take off adhesive. So I just uh, dab it in a rag, take a plastic scraper, and hey, it actually does work. It takes it right off. This is some of the heaviest stuff you gotta hit a couple times, but plastic scraper and Goof Off takes it right off. Works great. Of course, using one of my favorite tools, the dental pick, to get in here on this line between the formica and uh, the wall. There's some real goobery adhesive in there, and it pulls it right out. So here's after uh, soaking that strip in crud cutter overnight, straight crud cutter. I think the, the visible surface is going to be okay. The back needs the old adhesive cleaned up. I'm going to try goof off on the adhesive to see how that works. Yeah, the goof off lives up to its promise. Takes the adhesive right off, so it's just all I did was dampen the rag. So if I can get the adhesive off, that strip will be reusable. All right, so here's the side, and it's uh, actually getting worse instead of better just because I'm hitting it with so many chemicals right now. You can see the wood looks kind of bleached out, but I'm not worried about that. What I've been focusing on are these lines, these grooves in the wood that had black in them, and I could not get it out with the citrus strip. I've had some luck with a 50-50 mix of denatured alcohol and uh, lacquer thinner. That really seemed to help. So I'll hit this, I use a couple times with a green scotch Brite pad and then follow up with paper towels to get the residue out. So kind of work it in, scrub it, and then remove with paper towels. I'll hit it a couple more times and then I might try sanding and see if I can get it back to looking like real wood. I'd hope to not have to repaint this orange. I thought I could hopefully strip off the white, have a decent enough finish, but I'm going to hit this with a light sandpaper, maybe 600 grit, see if I can knock off the remaining white. And then I bought a gallon or a quart of uh, paint at the Home Improvement Center to see if we can uh, make it look nice. All right, here's a pretty good uh, view of before and after sanding. You can see I've got some pretty dark that's from that black lacquer that was in the grooves. And then on this side where I sanded is uh, at least got rid of the black. But I've got some white in here from the original paint. It's in that green. And uh, I'm using 120 grit um, sandpaper in an orbital palm sander. And it's doing a great job, but I don't think it's cutting enough to get into this grain, although I can't feel the grain. Um, I might try to hit that with something a little coarser and then hit it again with the 120 so I can get rid of that white. And then here's a close-up of the before sanding and after and hopefully the white will show up. Alright, so here's the final product. It's all sanded. 
hit it with 80 grit and then 120 grit and then 220 grit um, and it came out nice I think um, I left some of the black in the grooves because I'm going to paint over those but now it's going to be time to stain. I'm going to wipe it down with just a simple tack cloth get all the dust out then I'm going to try using um, this Minwax wood finish penetrating stain trying a golden oak hopefully it's going to turn out okay. Okay, so here it is with the golden oak on. I'm going to wipe off the excess. Well, there's the finished product. Like I said, I haven't painted the lines yet. I have to decide if I want to do black or orange. I think the original is black. 